Hey guys, hope you are all doing good. I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial to show you guys how to install the Task Force Radio for Armour 3. In this example, I'm going to be using the Edict server uh, for that. Um, the Edict mod is a um, Armour 3 mod, which is kind of in the style of original Daisy in first person, and that's what uses um, the Task Force Radio. So I want to use that as an example. Obviously, this will work with any server that uses Task Force Radio, whichever one you want to use. Excellent. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website and there are two things you need to make sure you have installed. Number one is TeamSpeak. Of course, I'll put all the links in the description to download the latest versions of those. And then you want to go on to this website again in the description, radio.taskforce-force.ru slash en slash. We want to click download radio and I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it installed um, or downloaded, should I say. Once this zip file has completed, find out where it is in your downloads folder voila here it is double click and open that up and the best way i found of doing it is just to drag and drop the task force radio folder onto the desktop excellent so once we've done that we want to double click the task force radio double click on team speak and the first thing you're going to do is double click on this task force radio icon here this is going to add the task force arrowhead radio uh, for armor 3 into your team speak uh, plugins so we do want to do that want to click install and then when I restart TeamSpeak, you can click yes, which means it'll activate the add-on as soon as you enter TeamSpeak. So now if we open up TeamSpeak, go to settings and go to plugins, you'll see that the tick is available right there to be checked next to Task Force Armour 3 Radio. Now, next step, we want to make sure we are connecting to the TeamSpeak that is for our server. In this case, I'm going to be using the Armour 3 Edict mod. So if you go to bookmarks, manage bookmarks, and go to add bookmark, you can call whatever your server's called, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then you want to put the address in. That's going to be obviously available on the website that you're going to be getting the information from for your Task Force Radio. Of course, in my example, I've already got Edict set up. Um, again, link in the description for that mod if you wanted to play that. And this is why you're here. Called the label Edict, written in or written in the uh, IP address for that server. Click apply. And then when I go to bookmarks and click on the server, it will allow me to connect into their server. I pop myself into the waiting for a slot section and then as soon as I want to connect to the game it will move me into the Task Force Radio channel and no one else can hear what you're saying unless you are within a local facility uh, in the game with them or if you're on the same radio frequency. Cool, so before we carry on and show you with the in-game radio one last thing you're going to want to do before you actually connect uh, online via armor 3 is make sure that this whole folder is in your armor 3 folder so go to the directory of where your steam library is held in most people's cases it will be in your c drive uh, and program files 86 and then steam i've got uh, a lot of my uh, games stored on my other hard drive which is my f drive just make sure you go to wherever your Armour 3 is located. So in this case, Games and Media, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Armour 3. And what we want to do here is double click on the Armour 3 um, folder. Don't delete or move anything about. You just want to make sure that you right, uh, grab this with a left click and just copy into the Armour 3 folder. Of course, I already have it there. This will allow Armour 3 to actually see that you're using uh, TeamSpeak 3 uh, Task Force Radio and kind of link the two together when you're in the game. Cool, so let me quickly show you some basic functions of the Task Force Radio inside the game and let's have a look at that now. Right guys, so we're now in the game and we're going to quickly do a short tutorial on how to use the radio itself. So, what you want to do is press the control in the bottom left hand corner of your um, keyboard and P. Control and P. That will bring up your TFR. You want to click clear and then you want to speak to one of your friends um, and let them know what you're going to put in obviously you can change the channel uh, up to whatever channel you want one to uh, nine so let's say channel one let's click clear and then to type it in you want to write for example 80.5 cool 80.5 click enter on the screen and then if you press the talk in game in the bottom right hand corner you will see there as i'm transmitting that it says frequency 80.5 on channel one and then when you let go of the uh, caps lock key and it's caps lock key to talk you'll let go and it will say transmission over or transmitted it's been sent what i will say is people that are in a range of five kilometers will hear you via the radio if you are 
in game and someone is next to you and you don't want to be heard over the radio in case someone wants to uh, say um, well, if you're right next to someone, you don't want to speak over the radio so you can get heard, you want to click the button that you use for your team to speak. So in my case, it's mouse button too. Um, and if you press control and tab, you can change between whether your voice is yelling, whether it's whispering or normal. So if you're, someone is in the vicinity of you, you can set it to whispering if you're next to your friend and you don't want someone 50 meters away hearing you, for example, or put it for yelling and then maybe like 150, 200 meters away, people might be able to hear you uh, talking from that far away. So yeah, that brings the close to the tutorial. If there's any questions you've got, please write it down in the uh, comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video. Take care guys, see you later on.